Hi all folks, this is Max from GalaxyS2Root.com um, So since I've updated my uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S2, I unrooted back to 2.3.6 which is the latest version um, I'm going to do another video to show you that um, the the old root method still works uh, fine um, So first what you're going to do is put it into download mode Connect a micro USB cable to your computer by the way, um, there is a Heimdall tool you can use for Linux or Mac for most Samsung devices, but it does not work with the T-Mobile uh, SGH-T989, so don't even try. Um, the, the tool is just not compatible with uh, T-Mobile Galaxy S2s. These you have a different, slightly different USB communicating thingy and it's not working. So you'll have to use a Windows computer and use Odin. Um, or you can probably use a virtual box and run Windows inside your Mac or Linux that can work too. Um, so first we're going to put it into download mode uh, connect a U micro USB cable from your Galaxy T-Mobile Galaxy S2 to your computer um, and please don't try this on AT&T or other versions of Galaxy S2 this is only for T-Mobile. Hold down up and down uh, volume up and down and then the power button and uh, you're going to let go of the power button when your phone starts resetting and you can also do this when your phone is turned off but wait until you hear the, uh, you feel the vibration let go of the power button and this will enter you into download mode and simply hit volume up and then let's go to our computer you'll have to have uh, drivers installed um, you can check it by going to hardware and sound uh, device manager and uh, you should have something um, under USB serial bus controllers you should have Samsung Mobile's USB CDC composite interface just like there All right. once you have that um, you're all ready to go you'll need to download this file um, we'll do it together actually here T-Mobile Galaxy S2 root.zip it has all the files you need it um, extract it extract all the files use your favorite extractor and simply um, do uh, let me see oh we should have copied over a file earlier um, it doesn't matter you can do it after also um, let's run Odin and run the Odin program you should get a little com sign there um, choose PDA and uh, go to the folder where you unzipped all the files to T-Mobile Galaxy S2 and choose recovery CWM's Hercules.tar open hit start um, it will flash the recovery and uh, it will reboot and what you can do is take the USB cable out we're not done yet that's only installs a, a recovery um, hold down volume up volume down in the power button again without the USB and then uh, wait until your phone resets again it's the same thing but without the USB cable and when you feel the vibration let go of the power button keep holding down the volume up and volume down and then you'll get into the clock on recovery right and actually let me let me do this there you go you go to uh, mounts and storage hit the power button and select mount USB storage hit the power button uh oh you can't do it never mind we'll do this again just reboot your system now go back into um, your stock ROM and we're gonna just copy over a file since uh, I, I don't think I have my SD card inserted here so it's just gonna boot back do, 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 right here and you can copy over the file beforehand it makes it easier but I just forgot and I don't want to redo this video because I've got a ton of videos to do today um, but you can always do it like this uh, just connect your USB cable now micro USB cable and uh, select connect USB storage alright and make sure it's connected to your computer as a USB storage there you go and then let's go back to our computer and there you go Mine, my windows automatically pops up the the um, the storage here. Um, so this is my internal storage. I think uh, I'm gonna cop copy over the uh, one of the files, the SU file, 
I'm going to do a copy and paste it into my download directory there. And then we're going to go back into the uh, Clockwork Mod Recovery, pull the USB cable out, hold down volume up, volume down, uh, and the power button. And uh, I've had a couple people who, who had a trouble with my first video. That's why I'm updating it. Since that was one was using 2.3.4, um, this one's using 2.3.6. It's the exact same method. Just you know, just updating it. Oh, did I not press it? Oh, I did not press it. Hold down volume up, volume down, and the power button. And then um, hold it down. And when you feel the vibration, let go. You get back into Clockwork Mod Recovery here. And now go to um, install zip from SD card. Hit the power button. Choose zip from SD card or internal SD card depending on where you copied it over. I copy, I think I copied it over to my internal. So I'm going to choose that. And I'm going to go to my download folder. And I'm going to choose that the file I copied over earlier, su 305 sign.zip. Hit the power button and say yes. And uh, if you get an error, just try again. But let me change the angle here. This is the part a lot of you are having trouble, but you can just always keep trying again. And it'll, it'll work eventually. I'm not sure why. It's, it takes a couple of tries, but... Um, there we go. Say yes. Oh, you know what? It already worked, I think. It should still it should still work fine. Creating system symbolic link. Um, so it doesn't matter as long as you see setting um, bin su and creating xbin su um, that installed actually root. So go back and reboot system now and you should be rooted. If you don't have super user just download it off the market and uh, that's pretty much rooted even if you get errors it's it's fine. And a lot of people are getting confused am I rooted now? Am I not rooted? Um, but you are rooted because it, it, it did the fat, fat uh, it did the part where it had to root which is the SU files. That's pretty much it. And I'll get the da, 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 da. There you go. And it's going to actually go through that thing. Let me go to application real quick. There you go. It actually did install super user. So it's fine. It should work fine even if it fails. Just run it twice and reboot and see if the, you have super user. And then you can verify super user is working by hitting pre 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 preferences and hitting SU binary. And if you get downloading manifest fail, um, that just means, oh, I'm, I'm not connected to the internet. Hold on, let me connect to my Wi-Fi. There you go. Um, let me do that again. All right, hit update. There we go. And if you get that signal, um, the permissions, then you're you're okay. And you, this will also update your SU binaries. Anyway, that's how you root your phone. And uh, it, this this method is the safest. It actually what it does is. Um, you're installing the Clockwork Mod Recovery into the recovery portion of this T-Mobile Galaxy S2, which is separate from the kernel, so it doesn't touch anything. If you have any Wi-Fi weird problems, that's not due to rooting, that's just your phone. Um, and also, this will work on ICS also, this method, because it's compatible across, um, because you're just you're just installing um, rooting files, the SU and the super user. So it's completely safe to do. Um, this will work on gingerbread or ICS anyway just for the T-Mobile Galaxy S2 um, and it'll work even if you know there's new uh, what are those I forgot the, the name, name of the new um, new Android that's coming out anyway if this helped you uh, root your phone don't forget to subscribe to my email list at galaxys2root.com where we update you or I try um, once or twice a week with um, stuff like this ROMs of the week and more and uh, it helps me greatly if you do and also if you're on YouTube don't forget to hit that like button here and uh, favorite button here and subscribe to my channel if you have thanks again um, folks and uh, share this with your friends on Twitter Facebook or Google Plus and I have a rooted T-Mobile Galaxy S2 again <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go install new ROMs 
I'm tired of this 2.3.6. Lay it up.